Hi guys, what's up? Caesar here again at your service. We're here again to review another type of technology which I highly recommend that you need if you're only using the router given by your provider. Good for you if you are provided such technology, which of course an additional payment if I'm not mistaken. This is a must if you're working from home and your network bandwidth drops quite often. What I'm talking about is Nova MW6 Whole Home Mesh Wi-Fi System from the Tender brand. Nova MW6 is powered with True Mesh technology. A set of three units cover home up to 6,000 square feet with strong Wi-Fi signals. Smart auto path selection technology to ensure a robust wireless network and maximize a faster home internet. Okay, here's the quick advertised features from Tenda itself and even a video as well. What's inside the box? Here's the actual unboxing of my Nova MW6 mesh, which the one I bought is the only 2-pack designed for smaller spaces versus the 3-pack as advertised. Review time! What can I say about the Nova MW6 mesh of Tenda? Is it worth it to buy or not? I've been using this mesh of mine since the pandemic, so quite some time now. After experiencing the concerns of my extender, which as mentioned in my year in review, not to buy the extender anymore and just upgrade your network or upgrade and add a mesh technology which you can choose from by checking online as well, the top used or reliable mesh technology in the market today. Some network provider also includes either 2 or 3 Wi-Fi mesh, but of course not free at all, so additional to your monthly subscription. Still, I would recommend you get it or better as mentioned, look for the best one and buy it on your own. When I bought this one, the mesh Wi-Fi system was not yet available at that time and already had some problems from my network provider. Even having more than 400 Mbps and still experiencing an abrupt drop of bandwidth that affects my work from home setup, especially when I'm in a meeting, and it's really frustrating. Not just in working but also playing games online, web browsing, downloading, uploading, and especially when you watch streaming applications online, either using my smart TV, mobile phone, or my computer. It also affects my security system which needed 24-7 of network. Now, with my experience and also comparison with the one provided by our service provider, which the one used in another house, what can I say? They're just on par. The only difference I can find is the use of QoS or quality of service, which is the use of mechanisms or technologies that work on a network to control traffic and ensure the performance of critical applications with limited network capacity. It enables organizations to adjust their overall network traffic by prioritizing specific high-performance applications. I checked it online if this is necessary and this is what they recommended. Between 500 Mbps and 1 GB, you mostly don't need QoS, but it's a good idea to have it when there's a file sharing situation or station, such as BitTorrent. Within the network, between gig plus to 2.5 GB, you don't need QoS unless you have multiple file sharing stations faster than 2.5 gigabytes. It's safe to turn QoS off, so probably not needed at all. Now the question, would I recommend this product and other mesh gadget out in the market? Of course, it's really a huge yes. I think you already noticed the way I talk, right? I even recommended this technology to a family of mine in the US because of how used their house, 
There are gaps or areas which the bandwidth drops or no network at all. They're using the one from the Amazon family brand which is also a good brand and with nice reviews as well. So if ever you are really working from home and needed a stable network, I would recommend that you also install or upgrade your setup to have a mesh hardware. There are what you call the gaming routers, right? Which are really expensive and big as well. You can also have that, but I can't promise you if they also have the set technology that lessens the abrupt drop of bandwidth which coming from the router itself. By the way, just to add, as advertised, this should replace any router, right? Mine and even the one provided by our service provider, it is directly connected at the back of the router itself. So what happened? We already have 3 in total of networks you can still connect wirelessly. And the reason as well, there's a landline telephone and a cable connected directly to the router, so not possible that this will be a replacement at all as designed. Okay, that's it! Hope you've learned something regarding the Nova MW6 whole home mesh Wi-Fi system from the Tender brand. Please don't hesitate to share us your thoughts, especially your experiences of the gadget we are reviewing and we'll gladly reply as well if you have some questions. So if ever you're new to this channel, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe and click the notification button so that you'll be updated to our next videos. Thanks again for watching guys, goodbye and please be safe as always.